Hey folks, it's Brad here from We Be Fishing, the viewable podcast right here on YouTube. We're a spinoff version of the BNT Catfishing Adventure, and today we have a unusual topic to discuss. You know, we're going to talk about Asian carp. Asian carp, whether they are a good thing or the bad thing for the waters in which we fish in. Now, here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the Asian carp is seen as an invasive fish. And, uh, you know, if you catch one in a net or whatever, or you snag one, or one jumps in your boat, you're not legally allowed to return that fish back to the water alive. You have to destroy that fish. Now, while that sounds cruel, it's a necessary evil, in a sense, to help rid the waters of these fish. Now, we're talking about both sides of the issue today, and if, again, maybe that's a good idea or a bad idea. Let's look at some things about the Asian carp. Now, of course, like we said, they're an invasive fish, so they're not native to this area. Asian carps, I don't know if if you've experienced them much or not, but if you're a boater, you've probably had this experience of them jumping into your boat, scaring you to death, uh, just jumping out of the water, exploding out of the water at any given time, and they do so in large numbers many times. Sometimes it's single fish, but sometimes it could be hundreds of fish at a time. Now, these fish also are kind of dangerous or not kind of, they're very dangerous to skiers, people on, uh, you know, jet skis, uh, you know, wave runner type things in, in small boats and stuff, where these fish jump up and can literally hit you in the face, uh, chest, so on and so forth. I've actually had one strike me in the chest and hit me in the face and all this. is It's not fun and it can be quite painful as these fish can be quite large. And when propelling themselves out of the water, they gain tremendous speed and there's some great blunt force hitting you squarely uh, in the body. That's, that's just not a fun part of your day, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. But these fish have, you know, the ability to, the way they eat and so on, to clean waters, to keep and filter the waters in a sense. So that part is a good thing. Now, they also, they're not eating other fish per se. They're more plankton, uh, you know, type things, uh, uh, you know, vegetarian type plant eaters. And uh, so for a lot of the fish, that's not an issue, but there are some other native fish species that eat the same foods. Well, so now they're in competition for that food. Now, the Asian carp grow and reproduce at an incredible rate. So they're taking up a lot more space and uh, they're fighting for the same or they're taking over, let's be real, some of the food sources of the natural fish or fish that are natural to these waters. So that part can obviously cause a problem. Now, one thing we find with the Asian carp also is they make good bait for catching things like catfish and so on. So there are companies out there that have now been created specifically for uh, catching, producing these uh, and, and packaging Asian carp to sell as catfish bait. That's right. So it's created an, an entire industry. So it has allowed people to create businesses and make money uh, selling these fish. Now, another thing, these fish are actually very a bony fish. They're a white meat type fish, very mild in flavor on toad and, and very, very delicious. Now, the, the, problem there is they are very, very bony. So it's it's really hard to get it. Uh, you have to be almost an expert to get it to where you can uh, prepare these to eat. But for those people out there that can do it, 
possibly can sell them and so on and so forth. It could be an added source of food uh, to an area that, where we didn't have these fish before. Now, again, some of the negative sides that we talked about a while ago of these fish flying up out of the waters, they're striking us, uh, scaring us, damaging. I mean, you, literally, they could knock your teeth out, uh, break your nose, knock you out and or knock you overboard and you could potentially drown. So that's definitely a negative for having these fish in this area or your area too, if they're not a native species to where you live, but they can reproduce so fast that they're also taking over bodies of water, which can stunt them. Now we try managing these things and they place nets out and buoys, but as high as these fish jump, obviously they can actually jump over walls at dams. Uh, obviously, if the waters uh, are, are flooded, then obviously they can get into bodies of water where they're not supposed to be there. They can jump over some of the gnats out there. It, it's just really hard to manage these fish and keep them contained once they're in your system. So, we're looking at, again, does the positive of these fish outweigh the negative? Now, we just had a little thunder blast there. I don't know if that is a sign from up above giving their opinion on these fish or not. But I'd like to know in the comment section what you think about the Asian carp, if they're a negative or a positive to our ecosystem uh, where you live. Now, this question was basically brought to me by a member uh, or a viewer of our channel and we place polling questions out quite frequently and uh, this person suggests that I may have uh, or I sh should possibly place this as a question on the poll if if Asian carp are possibly good for, or bad for our bodies of water, depending on where you live. So I thought, you know what, this would actually be a good topic to bring to you guys uh, here on We Be Fishing. So if, uh, if you have any views on it, positive or negative about Asian carp and what you think, if they're good or bad, put it in the comment section. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Folks, thanks so much for joining me right here on We Be Fishing. Again, we are a viewable podcast and uh, a spinoff version of the B&T Catfishing Adventure. If you've joined us today for the first time, thank you, and we appreciate you making it all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this and you would also like to maybe see some of our B&T Catfishing Adventure episodes, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you don't miss an episode. Also, if you like this, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel greatly when you do that. Uh, it promotes the channel and uh, helps the algorithms and allows other people to find our channel as well. Folks, you have a wonderful day. Again, don't forget to comment about the Asian carp down in the comments section. We'll see you guys soon right back here on We Be Fishing. Y'all have a wonderful day.